I'm Louise Laurent. I'm a graduate student at the University of Wyoming working with uh, Dr. Andrew Kness. And my master's project is about shade avoidance in sugar beets. Um, it started because some scientists in Canada found that, that neighboring weeds um, could affect a crop even before the weeds uh, shaded the crop or competed for water or nutrients. And the way that happens is that the light that reaches the weeds and is reflected to the crop has a different quality than the direct sunlight. And because of that di different quality, um, the crop receives a signal that it's going to be shaded in the near future. And in the case of corn and soybeans, the crop elongates to try to escape that shade. And when corn or soybean grow faster and taller, it comes to a cost when it comes to yield later in the season. Now, the reason we're working with sugar beets is because we don't know what would happen with them since they're so different than corn or soybeans. First off, um, because of their growth type, they don't elongate very much. So they don't have that option of escaping the shade. Second, they store energy in their roots and they are biennial. That means that they set seeds only the second year of their growth and the first year is when we harvest them and they just store energy in their roots. So the way we proceeded about that was to grow um, weeds nearby sugar beets and make made sure that the weeds didn't impact sugar beets in the sense that they couldn't shade them, they couldn't take water from them or nutrients. We grew weeds in Dixie cups and planted those Dixie cups in five gallon buckets and planted a, a beet in the center of the bucket. On another note, we also played with light quality using different colored tarps around the beets. And we're waiting on the results on that and see how those different lights impacted the beet growth. Um, with that research, we might be able to make better recommendations to grower when it comes to weed control timing. That was the case for corn and soybeans. And I think that's about all I have to say about my project.